Jim Miller more than a half dozen first round wins in the UFC, and that is something that has been a focus for him. He knows he's a fast starter. We'll see if he can continue what has been an obvious trend here tonight. Hit him with the Superman punch. Joe, how does he approach this particular challenge tonight? Rafael Dos Anjos is a very versatile fighter, but he is particularly good at landing devastating elbow strikes. Lands the right punch and follows it up with a nice left hand. Nice sequence there by Ardea. Miller gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. Brutal leg kick from Dos Anjos. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of eight. And he connects with the punch there. Dos Anjos gets hit with a kick. Dropped out for a double. Big body punch. Dos Anjos gets in the clinch. First takedown attempt is there. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Got a guillotine here. One arm guillotine here. The tight guillotine. That is a tight guillotine. This could be it. He might be forced to tap. This choke is getting tighter and tighter. And oh is. my god! Set it up. Close it off. Got the choke for the tap. Well, you can tell he has been working hard on his submissions in his training camp. That was a near-perfect setup on that choke. Sunk it in deep, and the opponent had no choice but to tap out or go to sleep. He chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And one more time. Nice technique here on this submission. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki's called to stop for this contest at two minutes, 52 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, it's been a career full of shining moments for the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. He